Hey everyone, um, so you've created your channel and now you're wondering uh, perhaps how to create a video and how to edit it. So that's what we'll be going over today. Uh, first of all, you want to shoot your video and then once you film it, you can just hit create and upload video and you drag the files onto there. Um, and then uh, that's in the editor so you can edit uh, and we'll be going there now. Um, if you've already created your video and uploaded it, you can still edit it. You can click on one of your uploads and then on the next page, right click uh, to edit. Um, or maybe it's just a left click in the top right corner. But the easiest place to go to edit is manage videos. And this is why I didn't click on all those links on the last page takes forever to load sometimes if you have a hundred tabs open like I do at least um, so uploads are gonna appear here so I'm gonna click on our last DDA video and we're going to options edit title and description um, you can promote it, get the link. Uh, so this is just a short edit and description. Um, it's a better place to do that though. Um, so I'm in the studio, which is where you should be. Yeah, so details isn't what I want, but I do want to show you this. So this is where I always edit things um, about the title, description. I didn't bother with a description here, but um, you should have a description. You can click on one of the thumbnails that uh, YouTube selects or upload your own. Uh, so you can make your own thumbnail or download a different image from the internet, and you'll see it changes here. Um, highest quality so I keep mine in public um, don't do private that basically means it doesn't exist but if you don't want it to be public you can do it as unlisted um, but I can still see it if you send me the link uh, you have options for end screens um, I put it on the TED playlist and I make it made for kids because that means you don't have to watch ads but it also means um, you have to follow the Privacy Protection Act and stuff. So make sure that all of it is kid appropriate content um, and that it's actually made for kids. Um, you guys are technically kids, your children, uh, because you're under 18. So I can click that. Um, it doesn't mean it has to be about the Teletubbies or the Wiggles or whatever. <coughs> um but yeah, it probably shouldn't be about um, a bloody video game, for example, right? Uh, if it is, you might want to do an age restriction. Um, obviously, if it's made for kids, you can't then make it 18. But um, so, so those are the details. And then to actually edit it, you go to the editor. And now you'll see uh, the panel like you would in Premiere, but it's certainly simplified. Um, so let's skip to something that's blurrable. Uh, so you can zoom in on certain time parts, and I can find exactly what I might want to uh, blur out and you can add a blur and I can click a face blur and it'll track the face throughout the video which is really nice um, or you could make your own blur uh, we could oval this <clears throat> see that's a 
Okay, so it switched it to, um, oh yeah, so here's this one. It just didn't upload in time. Yeah. So I could work on this for a while, but um, just very slow to update. It's because I've got Adobe open. Adobe slows it down so much. Um, but the really cool thing is you can set the blur for a certain time. Um, so it'll track the object, or in this case, uh, you could fix it. If your camera is moving around, you want to track the object. Um, yeah, so I, I must have accidentally deleted it, but you can move this all right so it, it should move it's being really slow right now but uh, you can select the time um, for the blur to be available and YouTube automatically knows what time that this um, uh, video footage showed up so it will select the beginning and end of this YouTube video that was in my PowerPoint um, so it'll track that blur uh, for that whole time. <clears throat> now, if you need to blur out, um, like somebody flicking the camera off or something, you can change this time to be a lot shorter, just a couple seconds or something. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll discard those changes. Um, now we can add a track. This is an audio track. Um, I don't think you can add a second video. Um, you would just have to add clips in by trimming. Um, but if we add a second audio track, we can uh, just look for free music here. Um, you can also follow some of the other directions that we're on. the canvas page. Yes, yeah, so let's just add this. Hit play. So I have to do add. So I'll add. And it's coming up here. It's just incredibly slow. I'm just going to pause this and uh, hope it gets quicker. Okay. So what it did is it put the song at the beginning. You can add multiple songs, um, or you can just drag this to where we want. If I go all the way down on the time, uh, maybe we want to start it after that video. And then I could zoom in and figure out exactly what time I wanted to start. Um, so yeah, that's how you add music. Okay, so I had to discard changes because it was being really slow again. Um, but if you want um, a better way maybe to add the music, you can go to add a track and it'll bring this up and you can click audio library and you can search the music there on um, a web page. And it'll be more specific. I think you can filter things. Yes, you can. There's more genre, mood, artist, duration. That's really important for YouTube. So you can um, filter based on those. And so for this project, you have to add one um, 
musical track and then you also have to do a sound effect and conveniently here is some sound effects in the audio library so you can just look through these um, I'd recommend uh, so there's categories so you can filter by those categories once you find something you like I'd recommend starring it so it'll show up in here and then you can pick from your favorites what you want to add to the video so uh, that's how you do it um, add those things in YouTube and then you just drag things along if you need to cut your video you can trim it and then delete parts or move things around uh, but yeah, that's just the basics, um, and YouTube Studio allows you to do that. There is a lot more. There is a lot more. There is a lot more complicated stuff that we can do in Premiere, but we um, can't see that right now because Cameo is not working. So. Uh, YouTube Studio will let you do all that you need to do for the project. Good luck and email me if you need anything. Thanks.